Thanks everyone for joining us to our Photography Idol Live event. We're so excited to um, get going. We've got all, we've got, this is presented by SheCriticForum.com and I am your host, Kelly France. And let me introduce you to our fabulous celebrity judges for this week. We've had, we've had a few last, we had different ones last week and then these guys have so graciously and willingly during their crazy weeks to join us to give us critiques. So Spanky Mills is joining us. Welcome, Spanky. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Yeah. And Brittany is here. Hey, Hi, guys. So excited to be here. And then Leslie Kerrigan from Seniorology is here as well. Hi, everyone. So these ladies are going to be critiquing the um, five finalist assignment images. But first, I have to say, we are uh, we've been doing a secret announcement for our chic retreat in 2014. So I thought I'd share it for those of you that are joining us here. Um, we haven't even announced it to the public yet, so you guys are getting in on this secret. But we have already sold almost halfway sold out. So. Uh, if you want in some of, we got uh, Spinky and Brittany are both going to be there as well. So it's going to be amazing. I hope you can come. So let me talk about the assignment these that our five finalists have had to do this past week. Um, it was on color and composition. They had to photograph one or more persons and use complementary colors in their photographs. So using this color wheel here. Um, so like violet and yellow, you can kind of see the opposites here. And they had to also work on composition where they incorporate two of the following compositional elements into the photograph, either leading lines, pattern, texture, rule of thirds, symmetry, environmental framing, or perspective. And there was no cropping allowed. So we wanted to see, to have them think about the composition. Um, like while they were taking the picture. So that's what these ladies had to do. Um, and this is kind of the timeline real quick, just to give you a brief on how it's all been going. Um, in October, everyone entered their very best image. And then we announced the top 10 contestants and they had to do a photo assignment within five days. And that's what these five finalists have already done. We showcased those images on our blog and they got critiqued um, on our blog by our other three celebrity judges. And then our the public and the judges voted for 24 hours and we announced the five finalists, which is the ladies that are joining us here. And they had to do this photo assignment, the color and composition in four days. So, and then today we are holding a live critique. And then tomorrow we'll showcase the live video for everyone to see the critiques um, and then and vote so tomorrow is a big voting day um, and then on the 20th on wednesday we will announce the our newest celebrity photographer so it's been a fun process um and so i thought we'd get started with image number one tatiana are you here let's see if she has joined us yet i don't think she has so i'm gonna i'm just gonna do hers last and so we'll skip to the next one. Um, we have a couple commercials during this live event from our Vogue vendors, but they're more fun than commercials because they're like basically sales. So uh, Savant Design Templates has offered our fans 20% off anything in her shop using coupon code CCIDLE2. And SummerAnna.com has offered 50% any products in her shop. Um, using coupon code IDOL50. So, all right, let's let's um, let's start with Christy Bradley. Are you, I know Christy's here, so I'm gonna unmute you real quick, Christy. And you can just tell us briefly about this image, kind of the background about it and and why you, you ended up doing this. Hello, I'm here. Hi, Christy. Hi, guys. Um, okay, I'm so nervous. Um, <laughs> the reason I chose, I, this is so exciting. Um, 
I chose this image because I thought it really showcased the bold colors that I wanted to express when I went out to do this shoot. Um, I had two girls actually for the shoot, and they were two of my spokes models. And um, we kind of we went to an urban setting, and I really had pictured this sort of skater girl um, photo shoot with lots of texture in it. Um, and a couple of my other images showcase that, but I really loved how this one uh, combined the contrast between the orange and the blue and the different values of the oranges and blues from her hair to the wall to her shirt and just how her connection with the camera um, while she was holding the skateboard, it just really, it really felt right for me. Awesome. She even has blue eyes. That's kind of perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christy. Well, we're going to have our celebrity judges. Um, I'm going to mute you, and I'm going to have our celebrity judges um, go ahead and critique your image, <clears throat> starting with Spanky. Spanky, what are your thoughts on this? I adore this image. I will say, like, immediately when I saw it, I, I mean, it's one of those that kind of just take your breath away. I love the leading lines. Um, I love how there's kind of that soft vignette on the side that, could have, I mean, naturally could have done with the lens or post-process, but um, it's not overly done, but it's done just enough where you, it really just draws you into her eyes. Um, the color of the skateboard, I love how the skateboard kind of breaks the lines, um, so it's not so distracting, right? Had that skateboard not been there, I think that the lines might might have been too much. She was a little, you know, too close to the wall had that skateboard not been there. Um, I think that this, like literally this was so well done. I adore, I mean, gosh, her eyes, her hair, I mean, everything's like the same color as the image. Like you couldn't have planned that any better. Awesome. I think it's perfect. Um, I like the crop on it. I, I actually, um, I don't know that I would even change the crop too much. I mean, I think it's, I really, I just like it. Okay. Any critique really or like you just love it? Yes. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's have Brittany go next. What are your thoughts, Brittany? Hey, everyone. Um, okay, so I am a color fanatic, and so I just, like, adore this image from with the orange and the blue and her hair. I've actually just recently had the chance to photograph some redheads, and it's my absolute newest favorite color combo to photograph. So as soon as I saw this image, um, I fell in love with it. I love the fair skin as a really sharp contrast against all of this. Um, just great job. So, uh, kind of along the lines of with Spanky, I love the, the leading lines. And one thing that I looked for that I want to give you props to is that I like how your the top of your image is actually parallel with the lines um, in the back of that garage door or, or siding or whatever it is. Um, that's one thing that I look for. Um, quite a bit. And so I think that you've nailed that. It just looks really nice, really symmetrical. Um, my, I guess my only constructive criticism would be I'm a big fan of getting it right, right in camera and fixing some of those quick little details. So just two things I would have done is that little wrinkle over by the, um, her, be her left shoulder. Um, I would have run over and tried to just straighten that shirt just a little tiny bit. Obviously, it's something that you can pull out in post, but it's just easier to do it in camera. And then I also would have gone up and the, the hair that's just in her eye a little tiny bit, um, it'd be her right eye, just slightly push that back so it's not creating as much of a shadow by that eye. Other than that, I think this image is beautiful, and I am in love with all the color. Awesome. And you know what? I think I'm going to unmute you just so I, we can hear your reaction, Christy. So I unmuted you. <laughs> are you there, Christy? Thank you. Yes, I am. Thank you, guys. It's, um, all of your comments are, are very, um, very helpful. Thank you very much. Okay. And Leslie, thoughts? Hey, um, Christy, I do think this image is awesome. I think um, the color is beautiful. Uh, obviously complementary colors, the orange and the blue together. Um, the only thing that um, I noticed was um, that maybe you could have had her a little bit more over to one side of the frame so there more of the lines were actually leading toward her um, instead of just having them behind her. But that, I mean, not necessary. It's just something I thought about. 
um, for this particular challenge that that might would have been cool. Um, and then the only other thing, which is, is totally very nitpicky, is there's a little bit of hair on her neck that, you know, like Brittany said, if you had noticed it before, which it's sometimes hard to notice that, those things because you're in the moment and things like that. But, um, you know, just kind of pull that off of her neck a little bit or, you know, take it out in Photoshop. Um, and then um, I kind of think that, I mean, you probably didn't have any control over this, but if you had any control over the styling part of it, having her fingernails a different color to pop off that yes. um, sca uh, skateboard would have been kind of cool. But, I mean, that might not have been anything you could control, but it, you know, would have stood out because they look like they might be very much the same color as the skateboard. Right. That's a great idea. And I think um, probably the time that we pulled together the shoe had something yeah. to do with that. But I don't <laughs> right, know what yeah, to that's, that, yeah. that's a great idea. <laughs> well, that's yeah, I mean, days. sometimes you can't control that stuff. So that's <laughs> why I said that. It was totally... No, but I definitely like that. I would think about, there's something to think about for future stuff. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. And thank you, Christy. Thanks. So let's move on to the next. And real quickly, um, Paper Lark Designs is offering 40% off their template shop. We use the coupon code I love chic. So killer deals today. Um, and pixify.com is offering two months free using coupon code chic to free. So, all right, let's move on to Anna Posiask's image. <laughs> I hope I didn't butcher that, Anna. Um, let me, Anna, are you there? I am here. Hi. Did Hello. I say your name right? <laughs> Uh, no, but you know, it's, that's pretty normal. <laughs> okay. Tell me how, how to say it. Um, well, you know, obviously I had no control over marrying into Polish, um, background, <laughs> but it's, it's Pocheck. Okay. I know that that doesn't look any way, any the way it looks, but yes, it's just Pocheck. Po with a check mark is how I tell people. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Well, Anna, tell us a little bit of background on this image. Okay, well, um, whenever you said leading lines, I was kind of like, okay, I already had kind of a place in mind. Um, and so, but I was like, okay, the color thing kept throwing me off. I was like, I didn't want, I, I obviously, I was really kind of wanting to go away from the red and green because I was like, okay, Christmas. I just felt like it was just going to be a big picture and it was just going to look like Christmas all over. And Great. so, um, but I love red because I just think it's so bold and um, it just pops and uh, so I went ahead and went with the red and the green and I added just a little pop of that crazy green um, hair piece and then I went ahead and wrapped the green around her also with the leading lines um, just to kind of add into I guess as the framing around her um, and I love motion so I just wanted her just to be walking just to get a little bit of the dress moving and it's really funny like <laughs> how this image even worked out with like the sun. It was raining all day. And right when we got there, seriously, the sun just popped out and we kind of was like, all right, let's do it. Let's walk down this here and let's get the, you know, get the nice lines behind you. And I've seriously had about five minutes of sun. And wow. that's basically how it worked. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was very nerve wracking. I had one day, um, even during out, throughout this whole week to even do this session. Cause obviously, you know, we have, sessions going on right. throughout the week and so yeah. yeah it was a very nerve-wracking week I was I'll, I'll be honest I about threw in the towels like I don't I don't know if I can do this like I just I don't know but I did I'm really glad that I, I went with the red and the green together yeah. so I have anyways. to ask where did you get the dress is that yours or the models it, or you know what's so funny you know all that is is fabric and we just wrapped it around no. her <laughs> that's impressive that's awesome. <laughs> yeah yeah, and she's she's a high school senior, and so she's just all into fashion, and so she was just all into it. So yeah, it, Is was, it, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed because that yeah. looks like a fancy pants dress. <laughs> yeah, well, we can just we can just say that it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, Spanky, what are your thoughts on this? I um, love this. I would have never thought to use the shrubbery and the way it is like to create the leading lines, like. But it's there, it's it's there. It's just like not in your face there, but it still has the same effect that leading lines do. I think that's genius. Um Thank you. for me, I would say with the sun and how warm this image is, I would like to see the image a little bit warmer. I feel like she's a tiny bit blown out. She's obviously very um 
bare skin. So I would have just maybe warmed it up a tiny bit, just so there's even like a little definition between like the color of her leg and like the color of her shoe. Um, but that's such a tiny, tiny, easy fix too. And on rainy and cloudy days, you sometimes accidentally blow stuff out when the sun comes out from behind a cloud and it's like, oh goodness, I just can't keep up with the, the cloud moving. Um, mm -hmm. And the only other little thing that I would say that's a tiny bit distracting, but it's just my personal preference, is the green thing on her hair. I would have probably had it a little bit more to the side of her head instead of like on the top. It kind of looks like it could be somewhat like a hat, but I guess I would have rather seen it on the side a little bit more. Um, I think it would have been a little less distracting if it was kind of like nestled in her hair a tiny bit. But really, mm -hmm. other than that, like the, I love how you have the sun flare in it. It just kind of, the sun flare even just kind of adds a little bit more red that it just kind of gives like the, a whole mood. You can almost, um, like this to me almost seems like it could be like an album cover or a promo for a movie or something. It, like, I feel like I could be there. You know, so I love the emotion. I love how she's not looking, how she's looking off, like the movement in her, like you said, you wanted her walking. You can clearly tell she's mid stride. And I love that. It just creates a feeling about the image that is totally different had you had her pose there. So I, I think that's well done. This image is really stunning to me. Thank you. Awesome. And Brittany? Hey, this Hi. image is beautiful. I'm loving, I'm so happy I have to say that I was asked to be a judge for um, the color and the composition week because you guys, if you guys know anything about my work, I'm all about color. And so when I see <laughs> these images, I just get really excited with all of the color pops and everything. Um, yes, I love it. Again, I agree with everything that Spanky just said. I love the leading lines. I, I don't want to like repeat a lot of what she said. So basically I, I love the image. A couple of my quick things. Oh, I have to say another thing. I love how even though she's walking to the left of the frame, you've pulled me back into the center of the image. And that's something that I think is really important is to always have our subjects um, pulling us in towards the middle of the frame instead of walking away. So for example, if her face would have been looking more to the left, um, it would have looked like she was walking out of the image and everything over on the right would have felt like kind of wasted space. So even the fact that she's walking that way, but her head is turned back towards the right, it pulls me back in towards the center of the image. And that's um, that's something that I look for. And I think that you really nailed it with this. So that's something really, really beautiful. I also like how you captured the motion. The only thing that's a little bit tricky with motion sometimes is um, how she, I can't see her other foot and I can't see her other arm. The arm I can kind of see a little bit of it. I mean, it's one of those things we know they're there, but if, if um, she could have used her arm maybe to like pull up that dress just a little bit so or dress that fabric <laughs> um just so we could see like the tip of um or like tippy toes in the ground so we could just see that other foot was there um it's just something small to small to think about but try to like be able to have all of your your main limbs in view right, when you have right. a like, motion full body shot like that okay all right and leslie my turn Hey, Hannah. Um, okay, so I love this image. Um, to me, it just draws you in. Like, I, I want to know about this girl. I wanted to know about the dress. I want to know what she's <laughs> looking at. Like, I don't know. It's very intriguing to me. I'm, like, very fascinated by it. Um, so I love that. The, the colors are obviously spot on. They're definitely complementary colors. I don't really see, I mean, yes, red and green is Christmas, but I don't get Christmas <laughs> from this image. So I think that's great. Um and, um, I, you know, obviously the leading lines are in a unique way uh, with the shrubbery. The, um, I really don't have that much of a critique. I mean, I agree with Brittany with the, with the limbs thing. It's, you know, hiding the, the leg. I mean, you know, some of that you probably can't help because of the way the dress is draped or whatever. Um, but um, I love the movement. You know, I, I really, I, I kind of just love it, all of it. I don't really have anything. <laughs> bad to say. The only other thing I would say is, you know, as just another option to this image is having her more at the beginning of her path as opposed to the end of her path. So it would look like she was going somewhere as opposed to coming mm -hmm. from somewhere. That just might mm -hmm. be a different way to compose it. Um, not, not necessarily a better way, just different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so that, that would be my only other thing to say about it. But I really, I like it a lot. It's a, it's a beautiful image. Thank you. All right. And thanks, Anna, for participating, even though you almost didn't. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it's intense. So, um, but you did great. It is. It is. But you know, I had a good mom that was like, "Just do it. Just go for the gold." I'm like, "Okay, Aww. mom. Thanks." <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, let's um, move on to the next image now, uh, real quick. Some more sweet sales. Twenty five percent off little sweet designs. Um, in their Etsy shop using chic 25 as your coupon code and Jamie Schultz designs is giving $30 off any purchase of $65 or more using coupon code 2013 idle. All right, let's move on to Tabitha Patrick's image from assignment two. Um, let's see Tabitha, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. 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 So tell us a little bit about this image. Um, well, we chose the colors because uh, that's the dress we could find. <laughs> so we uh, went with the green because obviously it's the opposite of the purple. But we wanted to do a more of a fashion, high fashion shoot um, and create something that was a little bit more moody than just a regular portrait. So. We added the fog and just did it in the studio. So. All right, cool. So this is in studio. What are yes. your thoughts, Spanky? This is like the neatest image ever. Like I could sit and study this image for hours. Like, okay, how did they do all of this? Like the hair, <laughs> that's so cool. I mean, um, the fog, like the whole aspect of it is still, even though it's a very clean and very simple image, it still has so much um, mood to it because of the fog and the coloring. The only thing that I would even remotely close to critique to this is I would like to see a, the, I love the fog on her body, but I feel like her hair at the base of her hair, well, the base like closest to her head of her hair, since her hair is upside down, um, is so dark that I would have loved to have a little bit more um, definition in her face. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more, just even if you just kind of, um, I know you couldn't control where the fog went, so even if you had to like burn burn it a little bit, just to add a little bit more contrast to her face, so I could see the detail in her face a tiny bit more, since it is kind of competing with the darkness of her hair. But then the image, you know, goes lighter and later, you know, down below. So that would be the only thing that I would say personally. The first thing that I notice when I see it, um, like seriously, I'm still like just in awe at this picture. Like I can't oh. wait just to sit and stare at it. I love it. Awesome. Okay. And Brittany. Hey, I love this image. And um, it I love it because it's so different. It's so out of the box. Um, it's awesome. It makes me want to go find somebody with big hair and try to shoot her on a piece of, piece of big white butcher paper and see if I can get the same effect. Um, it's seriously so cool because it's so different. And the two words that came straight to my mind as soon as I saw this was high fashion and editorial. So the fact that you just obviously said right. those words. I mean, it, it definitely came through in the attributes of this photo. So um, I think you nailed that. You nailed um, everything from the composition to the moodiness of her pose to this funky hair mixed with just like a delicate pose, but yet again, very like high fashion. I even love the way her toes are kind of curled in. So um, I love this image. It was really actually difficult to even try to come up with um, something that I could give you advice on. The only okay. thing that I would maybe talk to just on the color aspect is color toning. When I'm um, taking photos, uh, one of the things I try to look for is making sure that all the tones in my photo match, meaning like I wouldn't maybe necessarily want to put somebody in a, you know, a neon yellow shirt up against like a really dark rich brick wall or something because the neon of the shirt doesn't really match with the color tone of the brick so okay. i i think that the purple of her dress matches that it's kind of that fuchsia purple really bright i think that that really matches the belt but the little ribbon that's around her um her ankle i feel like that's a different kind of green i feel like that's more on like kind of a, an emerald tone of it and not more on that neon popping tone. Um, so if you were going to do something like that, I would just try to find, you know, fabrics or anything that's all in that, the same like color toned family. Um, but I mean, seriously, it was, okay. it was difficult to even come up with that. This is a beautiful image. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And Leslie. 
<laughs> okay, so going last, I just have to say ditto to everything everybody else already said. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but it is it's a great image. Everything everybody says is right on. Um, the, it's very editorial. Um, I, I just want to know how you did that with her hair, too. Um, <laughs> I mean, did you, like, grab it and just let it, or somebody grab it? Yeah, I had my open? stylist. She, um, she would stand with her feet out of the frame. <laughs> and hold the hair up <laughs> and then we would count and the, the model would pose at the same time as her hair would fall so right. we would capture the falling hair i mean just her. the fact that you didn't have it like it, like you really don't have that much of it on her face which is awesome so it felt <laughs> like you snapped it right at the perfect moment you know what i mean like um so i love that um the only thing the only thing i would say about it is the white looks a little blue um, and that could be because of the fog, I don't know, I've never shot with fog, but, um, so I don't know if it may be something you want to do in Photoshop to make it look a little more white and crisp and okay. might make her pop even more. Um, and you can do that by, you know, just adding some yellow in Photoshop to kind of counterbalance the blue aspect of the, the white, especially down toward the bottom. It looks a little bluer. Um, okay. and you know, obviously it was to white. I'm guessing it was white paper. So, I mean, yeah. but then again, the blue could also be um, sort of helping the moodiness of it too. It's just, you know, if that's something that it, you know, if it were bright white, it might would make her pop even more with those colors. Okay. Thank you. All right. And thank you, Tabitha, for participating as well. Thank you. So, hang on, let me. Mute Tabitha, and then we're going to move on to our next image. But first, <laughs> some more sales. $10 off a $50 purchase from ColorvilleActions.com using coupon code IDLE. And MagazineMama.com is offering 30% off any purchase using Chic30Live. So let's see Tasha Price's assignment to image. Tasha, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Hi, thanks for joining us. So tell me a little bit about this image. Okay, so when we um, got the assignment for color, it was hard to choose exactly which ones I wanted to use, but I decided I wanted to use the hot pink and green, but since I'm such a color girl, I love, love, love it, I had to throw in... Um, a few more. So I have this old bike laying around, so I gave it a fresh coat of hot pink spray paint. Wow. Um, and then <laughs> a lot of hot pink spray paint. Oh, I, um, awesome. this old, this old abandoned house is kind of fun. It has this, um, turquoise kind of fence and gate that wraps up all the way around it. And, um, unfortunately it was kind of a little more overtaken with weeds than I had anticipated. So by the end of the shoot, I was cov covered in cockle burrs, but, um, <laughs> I think it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, it totally. It's, it's awesome that you spray painted the bike just for that. It looks amazing. So let's start with a critique from Spanky. I love the color of this image. Like, it's so vibrant and so almost like whimsical and it just is fun. Um, I like the, even the details in the basket, like you really, the, even the yellow flowers in the basket to the belt and how you have her pose, like it really is showing her figure off. She looks amazing in this. Um, if I were to critique, I don't know what the, I wish I could point at it. Like right where her feet would be, there seems to be something that's kind of like more prominently yellow than maybe the weeds. It might be the weed. It might not be. I'm not really sure, but I feel like it's kind of hiding her feet. Um, so that kind of looks out of place a tiny bit. And the only other thing that I would have done is in camera, since I know you couldn't crop, I would have probably removed maybe about a half inch on the bottom. I would have just raised my camera up a little bit. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the limbs in the tree above her. Um, just taking, just kind of raising the image just a tiny, tiny bit. Other than that, maybe burn her necklace a little bit. So it kind of had the same, like uh, I think Brittany was saying, Earlier, how the colors kind of match, it looks like it's a little softer pink versus the bike and the flowers. So, um, but it could just be the way the light was catching it. So you could have possibly just burnt that a little bit in post-process 
to get it to match. But other than that, like I think everything about this image, the color, the yellows from the bike to the, the color of the leaves and I mean, it all just flows so well. And I feel like, I know you said it was a little more overgrown than you would like and you suffered because of it, but I think like even the weeds kind of act as like leading lines too. It's almost like they're kind of like sweeping up around her. Like I think it just draws you straight in. I love it. Thank you. Okay, Brittany. Hey, OMG, all of this color. I am dying over <laughs> here. Um, I love it. I I would have loved those weeds. I mean, I think it's I think it's great. You've pulled out all these like really rich tones of it. This is something, this is looking at this, it's like color pop, but in the really vibrant sense of color pop. And there's there's so many different ways that we can use color. There's sort of like the rich velvety color there's like you know the darker moodier colors and then there's like the bright color pop and um this just reminds me of bright color pop <laughs> i love the mixture of all of the colors you <laughs> used and yeah i totally agree with spanky and kind of what i was saying earlier like um you know for the most part i think all of the tones of the image are the same and um they're they're kind of all pulling from that same kind of color family of tones and so you know, with your model, with that really fair skin against the dark contrast and then these bright colors, I think it just looks beautiful. Just oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So just a couple of quick comments. The only thing I would have done too um, is I would have tried to line up the top frame of this image um, a little bit more with that, uh, the top <laughs> line of that uh, kind of aqua fence in the background. So I think that that means you would have had to tilt it just a little tiny bit to the right, but then though the top line of your frame would have been um, exactly parallel with the top of that, that fence. And then my other thing is um, her pose. So I, while I love it, all of the color and everything, I feel like her pose looks a little tiny bit unnatural with her shoulder I feel like it's just hunched up a little bit maybe if she would have been leaning in towards the bike with just her hands gently resting on the bike and just so it's just a little bit more relaxed and natural it, it looks a little I don't know something about the way that her arm is right there looks a little bit um a little unnatural um and then the only other thing is maybe try to turn her the opposite way because right now I feel like she's sort of pushing out towards the left side of the frame and so again like really trying to like bring our subjects and everything that we're doing in towards the, the center of a frame so if she was just flipped that other way I feel like she would have been pulling my eye in towards the frame but um again that's it this this image is stunning I love it this would have been an easy sell thanks <laughs> Okay, and Leslie. Okay. Um, hi. Uh, first of all, the image is beautiful. I love the color for sure. Um, <laughs> it definitely, you know, pops off the screen. Um, the um, you definitely, you know, part of the assignment was to use two of the um, items, and and I see definitely the texture, um, you know, pattern, all of that good stuff. I mean, you've, you've done a really good job of that. Um, like Spanky said earlier, if you had pulled it down just a little bit, I, you could almost have used the top of that tree, those tree limbs, to maybe frame it even more, to get even more of that environmental framing in there. Um, but, I mean, overall, it's it's just a beautiful image. I love how the, the color of the fence matches the basket of, of the bike. Um, I think that's awesome. Um, nitpicky thing, you know, the fact that you can't see your feet, you know, maybe, um, maybe go in and stomp down those weeds just a little yeah. bit more so that maybe you could see the, I mean, if you're like me, I wear my hunter boots on location and like go scrapes them through there and like <laughs> jump up and down for a little bit to get them down. Uh, um, maybe something like that. And then we would have seen her feet um, or maybe even have her on an area that wasn't quite so deep. Um, I feel like, you know, her style and the bike, maybe um, having it on like a path that leads to that fence, um, you know, would have would have been like, oh yeah, she really is just riding a bike, you know, down this path or whatever. So um, I feel like that that might would have helped you with the, um, you know, seeing the feet and stuff like that. But um, but I do, I think it's I think it's a great image. I think you know you definitely use complementary colors. You definitely use, you know, the lines of the fence and the texture of the the um, background. Um, very well. So I think it's, I think you did a great job. Thank you. 
All right, and thanks, Tasha, for participating and spray painting your bike pink. <laughs> Is that bike functional? Or are you going to ride it around? And <laughs> non-functional, flat non -functional, tires. Non-functional, just adorable. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Okay, well, let's move on to the next image. And I think I'm gonna mix it up uh, with our judges. So I'll probably have Leslie go first um, <laughs> so that you don't always get everything already said. Um, I'll just say ditto from that. <laughs> <laughs> ditto. <laughs> um, but real quick, the It Bags is offered 30, uh, and I, I don't know if it's $30 or 30%, but uh, either way, it's awesome off the retail price using code love chic idol 30 so um check that out and then prairiesuite.com you can save ten dollars off your order of 30 or more using chic 10 as your coupon code um so real quick let me see i don't know if tatiana has joined us yet she may have had a different engagement but we're gonna head we're gonna go to her image um Next, and then uh, we'll do our forum winner. So real quick, Tatiana, even though she isn't here, um, let's start with Leslie. What are your What is your thoughts for Tatiana's image? Okay. Um, well, hey, Tatiana, I know you're, if you're not here, we'll, we're saying hey for when you do listen. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so um, looking at this image, um, I think the, the girl is gorgeous. I love that she's kind of looking out. Um, kind of back toward the middle of the frame and then and then it looks like she's got even more to look at like you know what I mean like I feel like she is um the way you composed it makes her um look in the right direction um so she's not looking off to the left side of the frame where there's not as much stuff I like that she's looking to the side where there's a lot more space there um and I also love that the way you have her positioned right in the um, frame of the doorway um, really makes her pop because she's just in you know just right there where the light is but yet all the background kind of falls off because it's dark so it really kind of makes her pop and I, I love that too um, my only critique would be uh, the competing elements of her outfit um, I feel like she's got a you know a really big uh, flower thing on her waist and then she also has a really big thing in her hair um, I probably would have done one versus both um, I feel like they sort of compete with each other so uh, you know just a little critique there with that um, I definitely think the purple and the yellow look great together the only other thing I might would add is maybe have her the back hand that you can't see maybe come around and grab her wrist or um, place it with the other hand so that you can see both hands um, as I mean I can see the arm I just can't see your hand all that well again that's real nitpicky I mean it's not um, a huge thing but just like I say if you had her like kind of grab her wrist on the hand that's up against the brick wall or just kind of place both hands together on the brick wall um, that way we, we could have seen um, seen it uh, you know both of her her hands but otherwise I think it's a beautiful image all right, and let's have Spanky go next. I love this image. This is a lot, um, just the brick and the stuff that, it's very similar to the, the locations and stuff that like I like to shoot at. Um, the one thing that I feel like, I kind of, again, now I see how Leslie's been feeling, duh. Um, <laughs> I, I do agree kind of with the competing elements, the big um, purple element and then the thing on the hair. I would have kind of like Leslie said, chosen one or the other. Um, I personally feel I like in my images a lot of times for my, the, the main focus to be on the face and the main focus to be the brightest part of the image. And because her dress is poking out a little bit around the edge of the building, it's getting a lot more of the light than her face. I, I might would have seen what it would have looked like just to add a little bit more light. I know that the image has a lot of the drama and I like the drama of it, but I feel like her face could just use a little bit more light just so it's not competing with the brightness in the dress. Um, or maybe even like kind of 
darkened the the door behind her a tiny tiny bit even though it's not overly whelming um too bright i maybe knock it down a tiny bit more but um other than that i love it i like the composition i like how you did leave where you can see like the fallen down bricks and stuff but yet um it's pulled over just enough um i think too the the lights in the background the two little lights but I think that you did take those out. Like I know when Kelly emailed us the images to have a quick little peek at, I'm not sure if the other image had that in there. Um, but those are kind of a little distracting if they were. I might be thinking of a totally different image, you guys. But I think that I would have maybe taken that out just so, again, because I like my subject space to be kind of the brightest part of the image, and I don't want anything else that's distracting to draw my eye away from that. But I love the composition. I love... Um, how she's framed in the doorway, but yet you move just enough that her head isn't in the back doorway at all. It's not like halfway through her head or anything. So great composition. I love the colors. I love the mood. I like, I just love the feel of this image a lot. Okay. And Brittany. Hey, um, did, okay. So did it to Leslie, did it a spanky. Um, yeah, totally, totally agree. L love this image. Love the moody moodiness of this. Um, the one thing I've liked about seeing everybody's images is you guys have all captured color in really different ways. And so this is a perfect e example, I think about how you can make a colorful image, but not maybe in the colorful sense we're all used to seeing. We're used to seeing, you know, these bright color pop images. And I think this has just as much color in it, but in a more velvety, richer, um, and bolder way. And so um, I, I just liked seeing kind of that juxtaposition use of color. So love that. And again, going back to my color toning, because I'm big advocate of that. Um, you've got the same color tones here. You've got this butter yellow dress and, you know, a, a kind of this deep rich purple and then the deep reds from the bricks. And those all kind of match. Now, if she was wearing like a neon yellow dress, wouldn't wouldn't really work the same. So I think all of your colors flow really well here. Ditto to the other girls in terms of composition, um, the light on her face. I agree with all of that. The only other thing that I can um, really add, and again, this would just be an in-camera trick, is straightening out the top of your frame. And so basically finding one of your main lines, um, like for what I would think in this image would be the top of that doorway that she's leaning against or that she's leaning up against. And you would line up the top of the frame of your image with that line. So there, you've got these really nice parallel symmetrical lines that's going there. And then uh, it's really not going to do anything to um, her pose or anything. It's just going to create a really nice almost top border of brick around the top of the image. So that would be my only critique. All right. And then we have one final image. Um, this is actually, we opened up the assignment to our, the members of the She Critique Forum. And Janine was chosen as our assignment winner um, in the forum. So she also gets a critique from our celebrity judges. So we'll turn the time over to, maybe we'll start with Brittany first <laughs> for this Yay! One. <laughs> okay, so I think this is so cute. One of the best things about, you know, wait, photographing wait. kids. You know what? I forgot to ask her to tell us about the image. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My bad. Hang on. Let me find Janine. I know she's here. Okay. Janine, tell us about your image. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Hi, everybody. How are you? Good. Oh, good. Um, I was really excited. Um when I saw this because I've been working a lot with color, um, trying to get better at it. And um, I had a photo shoot coming up, so it was like a perfect opportunity. Um, it was a Christmas photo shoot, but I did have this random, like lime green umbrella prop that I that I use a lot, and I figured it would be a lot of fun for this. And plus, he's, he was so stinking cute that he just was having so much fun with it. Um, and I love the lines and the umbrella. I feel like that kind of was fun to play with, but yeah, so. All right, cool. So now you can go, Brittany. Okay. Okay, so yeah, one of the things I was going to say is um, this is one of the reasons I love photographing kids so much is because the they're just so genuine and happy. And when you get images like this, I mean, this is an example of one of those images that just makes moms happy. I will bet you that this little kid's mom was ecstatic when she saw this photo because it's the posed, non-posed um, way of, you know, capturing a child. So I think that um, the, the overall emotion and expression in this 
image is beautiful. I love the obviously the red and the green um, color. Um, complementary color use of complementary colors right there. The only thing probably I would have done is maybe try to back up, you know, a little further or even turn the orientation of my camera and try to push him off towards the, the right side of the frame just a little bit. Um, so again, it looked like maybe they were walking somewhere, going somewhere right now, you know, just a little bit um, kind of in the middle. Um, and I just wish that maybe they were a little bit off to the right hand side uh, using a little bit more negative space. But other than that, I think that it's a really, really beautiful image and one you should be proud of. Thank you. All right. And then let's have Leslie go. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I would totally agree with Brittany that um, you captured his personality and his happiness perfectly. And that's really all mom wants to see as her kid having fun. And that's that's what this image says to me. That's the first thing that strikes me um, is just how much fun he seems to be having. So that's that's awesome. And, um, you know, you definitely use complementary colors with the red and the green. Um, you definitely use the lines of the umbrella. They sort of almost point down toward him, at least the, the top lines do um, come to that little point right above his head. Um, and, and the texture of the, the background is really awesome. And it also gives you more color of that red, a little bit of red tone. It looks like there's some red uh, leaves and stuff back there. So that's awesome. Um, the only thing that I would say as far as a critique goes, um, it seems to maybe he's got, because of the way he's positioned in his arm above his face, it puts a little bit of a shadow on his face. Um, and I probably would love to see a little bit more of his face. I don't know if, you know, maybe you could have had him come towards you a little bit more or look at you um, so that I could see, you know, even more of that big smile and those um, bright eyes. I think that would have been nice. Um, and then the only other thing I would say is his skin tone looks a little bit, um, at least on my screen, it looks like maybe like a uh, it could be warmed up a little bit. It looks a little um, cool. Um, so that, you know, that might be something that you could um, do in Photoshop a little bit um, to, to, you know, counteract that, uh, that skin tone. Uh, but overall, I mean, honestly, just the joy from his expression is what um, makes this such a great image. I mean, being able to capture that and, you know, kids are, you're often chasing after them. So the fact that you can capture something like this that really shows that he's having a great time is just is a great, great thing. So I love it. Cool. Thank you. Okay. And then Spanky. This image is so fun. Like just sitting here looking at it, I'm just smiling because you can almost hear his laughter and like the rustling of the leaves. Like it just, it just puts you right there with him. Um, but now here, I'm going to be completely <laughs> like Leslie. I'm going to be the ditto because the two things that I were, was really going to say with this image, um, I agree with Brittany, the changing the orientation of your camera and giving a little bit more negative space on the left-hand side of the image, like towards where he's looking would have been, um, just a little bit more ideal. And then the only other thing is like Leslie said, is the arm, he's putting a little shadow in his face. And since the image is so bright and full of color, like I think if you could just brighten up the front side of his face a tiny bit, just so you could see the details a little better in like his nose and his mouth, the things that the mom's going to cherish, um, when his, that those no longer are little baby cheeks and baby nose. So that yeah. was, that was really the only thing, like Leslie said, I love how the umbrella, like, it literally is kind of like pointing down at him. It's a great image. You can seriously just feel the emotion of this image. And that's what photography really is all about, is just capturing an emotion. And you did it so well here. I love this. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Thanks, Janine, for participating. And Janine won a, an 8 by 10 frame from Organic Bloom for doing that. So, um, all right, so now what? Well, the next thing to do is tomorrow we'll be posting this video. And if you're watching it and it is Tuesday, November 19th, then you need to go vote. There will be a, val a ballot on the shecriticforum.com where you can vote for your favorite uh, image from the five finalists. So we're excited to see who wins. And thanks everyone for participating, all of you that participated and to our celebrity judges so much. So 
We'll see you over on Chic Critique Forum. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank coming. you. We'll see thank ya. you.